Hi, my name is Christa Stipp. I'm studying meteorology at the University in Mainz. And I did my internship here at UMITSAT in the year 2007. And so I come to the field of meteorology. They said in school, do an internship for six weeks. And now I was thinking, what about to do? And then my uncle told me about UMITSAT. Uh, he know the company and I was very interested. But at first I was a little bit, oh, it's unreachable. It's a very big company. Uh, but he encouraged me to apply and luckily I did. And yeah, this was my work experience at UMITSAT. I was, yeah, I would say I was always interested in science. Um, my father did his part in, in this. He, he used to read uh, science magazines and when I was a little child I, I read them as well. <laughs> I didn't understand everything but I read it and um, so there my interest came from. My memories here from humans are there many. It's first the Crown Station in Usingen. So it's a really big place and there are the antennas which are connected to the satellites and it was really cool to see them like in movies, the big ones and um, the second memory is of course the mission control center, all the monitors and um, this was very cool, yeah. And last what was really great is Humansat gave me a satellite image uh, of the earth at the date of my birth. So it was really cool, I still have it. I enjoy really working in an international environment here at Humansat because there are very different people here and uh, different point of views and it was really, really refreshing to be, in, uh, to be part of um, such an international environment. And I could imagine working in an international environment later because it's really it's really a creative because everyone has a different work strategy and so it's come together and um, there's great outcome. Umatsat or working here at Umatsat was the trigger for me to study meteorology because I get to know here that you can study actually meteorology uh, and I remember asking Phil about what do I have to do to work here at UMATSAT and uh, do I have to study meteorology and he said oh no you don't need to we have very different uh, people here but it would help. So <laughs> this was my decision I want to study meteorology. I enjoy studying meteorology because every time you get to learn more about the processes that take place on Earth. So things you see every day, clouds, um, wind and rain, or you experience every day. Um, how did it come and what are the processes behind this? And the processes are not easy and so you, there's very much to learn. And now in time I'm writing my master thesis and it's about patterns in the wind at the North Hemisphere, so North Atlantic. And um, these patterns are connected to the, to the forecast um, over Europe, to the weather forecast. And we try to look a little bit deeper into this and um, look and try to look how they are connected, the, the weather forecast and these wind patterns over the North Atlantic. And this interests me first for the research, um, for the, the research you have to do for this. So this is the, the second time after my bachelor thesis that I um, actually take part in, in big research. And um, this is an interesting, uh, interesting field and you have to think about new methods to do things. And um, yeah, this is, this is why I take part in this. After my masters, I first want to go deeper to the weather forecast. So I do more weather forecasting. But after some years of work experience, I could imagine maybe doing my PhD or maybe work here at UMATSAT. I really would enjoy young people to study science because science always goes along with researching and researching is very interesting because um, there are moments when you, when you try to develop 
methods no one else developed before. Or maybe there comes the time when you, when you think about things no one else thought before. And this is really, really exciting. And that's why I would really encourage young people to study science. Well, uh, well working in conjunction with the uh, local and some European educational authorities, we, we try to give young people an insight into how we work and what we do at UMITSAT. I believe since records began, approximately 300 young people have taken part in the programme. Well, looking at the, pe the young people who take part in the programme, the, the average age is, well, the age between 14 and 16, so yeah, around about 14 to 16 years old. Personally, I hope after they've been to UMITSAT, they have a better insight into how the organisation works and also they find the experience a very positive experience and also, because they are young people, enjoyable. It's nice if they develop a, a, an interest in science and scientific subjects, and okay, especially meteorology. My primary role at UMITSA is uh, actually I'm an operations analyst and the programme was developed by UMITSA, so um, we run it in our, what we could call our spare time, in conjunction with, with the assistance of um, the rest of the staff and operations in their spare time. It's, it's personally very rewarding for me uh, when we have uh, work experience participants like uh, Chris Stitt, who not only have found the entire programme very positive, but also have gone on to pursue a career in science and especially meteorology, of course, it's what we're all about. So yes, yes, I, I find that very rewarding.